I hear somebody screaming. Okay, are we ready? Are we? Maybe somebody can text Mr. Whitman. Let's see where he is. Kathy, you might want to let Susan know she's not. Your call has been. Okay. Uh, well, let's get started then. Amber, we're ready to begin? Okay. Um, good evening. This is uh, June 23rd, 2021, meeting of the Village of Romantic Planning Board. I will take attendance. With us tonight are uh, Planning Board members Cindy Goldstein, Ellen Styler, and myself. We have Teresa Baekner, our um, land use attorney, Ashley Lay, our consulting planner, uh, village planner, Amber Novak, our building inspector, Frank Tavolacci, and our, um, our landscape consultant, Susan Oakley. Um, we're waiting for Richard Littman to join us and not in attendance today <laughs> is uh, a former planning board member, John Verney, who resigned his position on the planning board uh, recently. And I want to take this opportunity, and I think everyone on the day would like to take this opportunity to thank John for his almost seven years of service on the planning board, including several years as the chairperson. And so I uh, don't think he's watching tonight, but I just want the minutes to reflect that we thank John for his service. And um, he was a uh, valuable member of the planning board. Um, but with the pandemic over, his, uh, his work is demanding more of his time. And we are joined by Richard Littman. So Hello, sorry I'm late. There's the attendance. Okay, great. Um, we have a very a short agenda this evening uh, and there's some changes to the agenda. Uh, uh, next up, we have approval of minutes. Then we had uh, a site plan review for 1000 Grecian Point Road scheduled on the agenda. Uh, that's going to be held over to the next meeting. Uh, we have an administrative action, uh, quick action on 275 Memorandum Avenue. And then um, three members of the board, uh, Ellen is recused from this matter. Uh, we will go into an executive session to discuss um, ongoing litigation of ABC properties versus the village of Memorandum. So first up is the approval of the minutes of our uh, special meeting of May 6th. Um, we took a um, field trip and we did a site visit at 131 Highview Street. Um, the minutes have been circulated to everyone. Does anyone have any issues, questions, comments? I have a motion then to approve the minutes. So moved. I have a second. Second. Okay. Um, uh, let's take the vote. Ellen? Yes. Richard? Yes. Cindy? Yes. And I vote yes. Okay. Okay, that uh, brings us on to um, 275 Mimaranic Avenue, uh, which is an application uh, that we had before us for a site plan. And at the time we uh, gave a site plan approval, which wasn't that long ago, uh, a couple of weeks. Maybe <laughs> um, there was an open issue with the Board of Architecture Review with, with regards to the facade of uh, the proposed facade uh, for the building. This is the old CBS building. Um, it's uh, been purchased by the Life Church, and they are combining the CBS former CBS space with the former dry cleaning space and changing the facade because of uh, the doorways and changes of, changes of the doorway. So uh, the BAR approved the facade last week on June 17th. And so Amber, can you, is there someone here from the church that uh, wanna um, promote, promote them? Hello. Good evening. Excuse my that's big, okay. <laughs> big headphones. It's all I got, and I'm in a little bit noisier of a space, so I apologize for the ambient noise. But that's yes, okay. 
So uh, we, what you right. said is right. So we, I think we're all a little familiar with it, but we did, uh, we made some good changes to the front facade uh, based on the Board of Architectural Reviews comments and comments from um, a few of the community. Made those changes, got approval. We're just looking for uh, just uh, the approval from this board and you chair for the change of use, uh, complete approval basically for change of use so we can go on to back to the building department. Okay. Can we um, get a rendering uh, either from uh, from internal? Uh, Amber, I know, has it on her computer, but um, Mr. Bartlett, do you, do you have the rendering to show? Good evening, Paul. <laughs> Um, we, yes, uh, give me, give me a second and I'll pull it up. I can share, I have to pull it up and then I'll share my screen. Is that all right? Oh, um, he's not there. That's Paul Noto, uh, attorney for the applicant who just left his screen. There he is. <laughs> Just maximizing a few things now and getting it ready to share. So here's a little bit of the what we put together for. Can everybody see the screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. Here's just kind of the, you know, seven page little presentation we put together for the VAR. Uh, this is our um, basically boundary survey that we received, has some few elevations on it. But basically the point we showed this is that our, our property line ends along the edge, where the edge of the building is, is where the edge of our property line ends. So it didn't really allow us to do anything because the, one of the things we were trying to address is this area here in the lower left-hand corner of the building was um, a little bit just of a large blank wall space. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, as you can see how we address that in the next couple of slides. So this is, zoom in for a second, let it load. So this is the existing, um, kind of from across the street. Here's the building that we have purchased. This is the what it looks like. Are close to it existing and a couple of the neighboring buildings just to show that we were trying to get our current building um, to look a little bit more uh, like the rest of the village. Here are, here's the architectural uh, 2D elevations. So this is the front this is the front facade, what it looks like in 2D. Um, what we did is we, these are the, these are the kind of, this is kind of currently where the, where the entrance is. We shifted this entrance. It used to be closer to here and we moved it over here. And then we added this piece of storefront to help break up this block, which is one of the goals, one of the goals. And we added a standing seam uh, metal awning all the way across the top to kind of a little bit to break up because one of the comments we got is the building looks very warehousey so we were trying to break the scale of the building down we added um, a, a brick uh, veneer facade here at the ex at the top and then this is a kind of an insert if you will really just it's on the same plane but it's a stucco panel that'll help um, give our sign a little bit more uh, distinguished and a little bit more um, visual preference, if you will. So this is the sign, uh, that was that. And then here's the other, the other exteriors are just painted brick. Move down, down, it's the back of the building. And so this is, this is a rendering, if I can get it in there. So this is kind of a, a 3D, this is a picture and we just basically photoshopped it to give a, an example of what it will look like in the future. There's the standing seam awning, uh, storefront, and this standing seam awning kind of matches. It's that dark, what they call dark bronze. It basically um, reads black or close to it. Um, it's the same color as the, as the storefront, which is 
uh, typical along most of uh, the avenue, if I'm not mistaken. And then this is the same picture from the second page, uh, the same kind of perspective where you can see it with the rest of the building. Uh, a little bit of details about the sign, just showing that they're conforming. It basically conforms to the basic uh, signage requirements. We're in the process of getting ready to apply for our sign application. But uh, and then here's just a couple of blow ups of coloring samples. So. OK, thank Any, you. Yep. Um, does any member of the planning board have any questions or comments? Nothing looks looks good. Yeah. Thank you for for uh, listening to the community. We appreciate that. Absolutely. Uh, anybody have anything? If not, uh, we uh, when we passed the resolution approving the site plan, we put a condition in there that the facade, uh, we just needed to see the final facade approved by the BAR. Um, so if we're all good with it, we just need a motion then uh, to uh, affirm that the uh, approved facade meets the conditions, the conditions stated in the resolution. So moved. Did I get that right, Teresa? Did. <laughs> All, right. All right. I need a second. Second. Okay. Uh, let's vote. Uh, Richard? Yes. Cindy? Yes. Ellen? Yes. And I vote yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good night. Okay. Good night. Thanks very much. Okay, this brings us to the end of our regular meeting. And uh, as I stated at the beginning, uh, we need to go into executive session, um, which is a separate uh, Zooming call. But first, I need a motion to go into executive session to discuss the um, ongoing litigation of ABC Properties versus the Village of Avaronic, which so is moved. a street project. Um, okay, um, Ellen? Oh, Ellen, you're recused from. I'm, the, yeah, I'm recused from the executive you'll be, section. You'll be leaving us. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Richard. Yes. Cindy. Yes. I vote yes. So we'll go into executive session now, and we will, when we are finished, we will come back to, come back to session and, uh, and to make a motion to close the meeting, and that's it. There'll be no further business of the planning board after the executive session. We are also saying good night to Frank to Susan, to Teresa, and to Ashley. Bye-bye. Bye. And so we need to sign off from this and sign on onto the other Zoom meeting. Okay, thank you, everybody.